but an equivalent expression using the co-function and complementary angle. Here we are given sine 71 degrees. Because sine A equals cosine of the quantity 90 degrees minus A, sine 71 degrees is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus 71 degrees, which equals cosine of 19 degrees. Notice 71 degrees and 19 degrees are complementary or have a sum of 90 degrees. And let's explain why this makes sense using the right triangle below. Let's assume angle A is 71 degrees. And again, we know that angle A and angle B must be complementary, and therefore angle B is equal to 19 degrees. Using this right triangle, let's now find the sine of 71 degrees, as well as the cosine of 19 degrees. Sine theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, and therefore sine 71 degrees is equal to A divided by C. Cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, and notice how the cosine of 19 degrees is equal to A divided by C as well, verifying these two trig function values are equal. Next we are given tangent 36 degrees, since tangent A equals cotangent of the quantity 90 degrees minus A, tangent 36 degrees equals cotangent of the quantity 90 degrees minus 36 degrees, which equals the cotangent of 54 degrees. And again, let's verify this using the right triangle below. Let's go ahead and assume angle A is 54 degrees and angle B is 36 degrees. Again, notice how these two angles are complementary, which does give a sum of the interior angles of 180 degrees. And now let's find the tangent of 36 degrees as well as the cotangent of 54 degrees. Tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So tangent 36 degrees is equal to B divided by A. And now let's find the cotangent of 54 degrees. Cotangent theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side. So for angle A, which is 54 degrees, notice how the cotangent of 54 degrees is also B divided by A. So again, this does verify these two trig function values are the same. And for the last example, we have the cosecant of 47 degrees. Since cosecant A equals secant of 90 degrees minus A, cosecant 47 degrees equals secant of the quantity 90 degrees minus 47 degrees, which equals secant of 43 degrees. Going back to the right triangle one last time, let's assume angle A is 47 degrees and angle B is 43 degrees. Again, notice how the two angles are complementary. And now let's find the cosecant of 47 degrees and the secant of 43 degrees. Cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta and therefore cosecant theta is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side. So using angle A, which measures 47 degrees, notice how cosecant 47 degrees is equal to C divided by A. And secant theta is equal to the reciprocal of cosine theta. Secant theta is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side. So the secant of 43 degrees is equal to C divided by A as well. I hope you found this helpful.